All right, Woodhounds, we're back on the Back 40 Firewood channel. And let me tell you, can you see back there? Look at all that. That's all the wood I ended up getting from that tree service. The guy did come back the next day and drop off another load. So I've got a lot of work back here to do, not only with bucking all this stuff up, but I gotta start figuring out where I'm gonna be putting all this stuff as far as keeping things separated from my recreational burning wood and my heating wood and wood for myself. So the wood for myself and the heating, obviously I'm gonna separate all the oak for that. And then everything else, I'm gonna start building my inventory for the roadside stand and bundles for next year. Because hopefully I've got enough to last me all this summer. Although it has been, uh, there has been quite a bit of wood moving here in the last week or so. Like I said in the uh, video about the refilling the roadside stand, I think the uh, social distancing is keeping people home and they're having fires in their backyard and enjoying time with their families, which is, which is great. So hopefully you watching now are in, enjoying yourself and hasn't, you haven't let this uh, stay at home stuff get to you too much. But anyway, I also want to show you guys with this carry-all frame, um, how it's kind of funny how things happen. You know, there's that saying, everything happens for a reason. We'll check this out. So here is the uh, my little temporary pallet that I just slide on to the frame and then I can slide that off and then I have those two boards up there on the back, the backboard. But uh, if you remember in the, in the video where I was moving the logs with this, kind of like as a set of forks, I had run out of bolts. I couldn't find any more uh, carriage bolts to put in there. And I mean, I, I thought I had plenty, but I just didn't have enough. But it turns out, I actually think that might be a good thing because if you notice right now, the frame is all the way up. And what can you do? You can still see my tail lights and my brake lights. So if I was, say, traveling down the road with this on, like hauling a bunch of my stuff somewhere, not that I'd be on the road that much, but if I am for a short distance, my brake lights are still visible this way. So that is kind of, uh, well, it's important for safety, but it's also kind of interesting how, you know, if I would have had the bolts, I would have slapped that, that other uh, plank up there and not even thought about that. So it's kind of interesting that that worked out that way. Oh. What? Do you want some more wood? Because I like, cut down four trees already. You cut down four trees? You gonna haul it back here? Well, if you want, if yep. you want all of it. Sure. Bring it back. You might have to get a wagon instead of a sled. <laughs> so. Anyway, yeah, so it's kind of interesting that, you know, if I would have had the bolts, if I would have put that top plank on and probably never even thought about the fact that you can't see my brake lights if I were to be traveling, say, on the road. But here you can see how nice this works with this pallet now. You know, like, so for instance, today now I'm just back here getting some stuff organized. I'm gonna start bucking some of this wood up. And so I just brought back my saws, my toolbox, my chaps, um, can't hook axe maul my oil and gas so right there i have everything that i need to be back here i'm not going to be using the tractor that much so i can just leave it on here and leave this parked right here if i did want to take this off what i would probably do is have a spot where i have like two pallets on the ground that i can just go and drop this off on so it's not right on the ground so i don't have to bend over all the way to pick things up but but yeah that's uh working pretty slick so back to, this is all the wood then that ended up, he brought back another load that had some elm and some cherry, um, a little bit more pine in it. But we're gonna get busy uh, hacking and slashing away at this and buck some of it up. Okay, nope, boss man is back with a load of wood. No, I'm not the boss man, I'm the tree cutter. Oh, you're the tree guy. The tree man is back with a load of wood. All right. Let's go find a place for you to put that.
right, so I've got this little uh, limb off of that one dead tree there that I took down and tried to notch over and use uh, the hinge to direct him over. Well, anyway, I've got this guy laying on the ground here and I just want to buck him up quick, but I don't want to hit that dirt. So I'm going to try a little trick that I've seen elsewhere on the internet, on YouTube. I think Mr. Morgan over Outdoors with the Morgans did this, where you take the, you put a block of wood under about three or four feet up, and then you use the bucket of the loader to press that end down, and it'll raise the other end up, and then you can buck that stuff off, off the ground. So we'll give it a try. So that didn't work out too bad. A lot easier than bucking on the ground, especially with this little limb wood. All right, so there is the progress so far. Got quite a bit of this stuff bucked up. Got a good start on it. Still have some bigger stuff back in there to take care of, but it's a little bit of a challenge, you know, digging this stuff out, but not too bad. I mean, I've had worse piles of wood that you try bucking into. And for the most part, the bigger stuff that's on the top there, that, that pine, it's pretty light. So I can handle it fairly well. So I think that's going to do it for this video. I'm going to keep working on this pile. And like I said, tomorrow or in the next video, I have to get, uh, I'm going to start figuring out like where exactly I want to start putting things because I need, like I said, I need a recreation burning area for all this wood right here. I need a place to separate out my oak for myself. Uh, little bigger pieces, little bigger splits, and then I need a place to separate out the oak that will be in the roadside stand next winter. Because during the winter, I like to put the stand, I like to fill that up with, with oak because generally more people are burning it in their fireplace, in their wood stoves inside. So they do want the, the heat value. They just don't need the, the recreational burn. So a lot to do in the wood yard coming up. So thanks for watching, Wood Hounds. We'll see everybody next time. Stay safe, have fun, and be cool.
Thank you.